Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. <coughs> we go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up. Oh, no. Let me get this one second. Don't make assumptions. Assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, we can make the assumption that others know what we think. And we don't have to say what we want. We assume they're going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt, and we think, how could you do that? You should know better. Bottom line, get rid of the gray, folks. Now, let me just take a bit of water here. <coughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 156, NASDAQ up 295, SP's up 58. Gold, gold contract uh, down $16, trading at 2033 an ounce. We have silver off 3 cents, $23.28 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 275, $71.06 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up nine ticks. Trading 112 flat, the 30 year up 13 ticks, 122.14 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading down 146 ticks, 102.263. The euro is, excuse me, folks, at 109. The yen's trading at 144, and the British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. And the world, well, we're going to go right to the world of chips, folks. If you see this, the chips, the bottom line, are on fire. The chips are taking up the NDX 100, which is taking up the NASDAQ, which is taking up the S&Ps, which is taking up the Dow. We take a look at the NDX 100 first. You're going to see Marvel Technologies, that's up 7.5%. AMD's up 5.5%. NVIDIA's up 5.4%. Let's go over to the king, which is NVIDIA, NVDA. And what you're going to see inside NVIDIA, this is an ABC structure up. It's blowing away a B point today. You're talking about wide price spread and accelerated volume, man. Uh, the, the, stock, the stock has just gone from um, 494 today to 517. You get 51 million shares traded. And uh, bottom line, you're taking up the swing, you're taking it out with volume. That's a 525. Uh, a to B equals C to D. So big numbers there, no doubt about it. If we go inside the, if we take a look at the Qs, what you're going to see, the Qs right now, we're doing 27 million. So we'll probably do about 40 million. Now we came down on monster volume, on like 55, 58. Uh, that being said, we're going after these highs. Now what's also happening is that on Friday, the banks kick off earnings. And let's see what else do we have out here. We got a lot happening out here. So, yeah, we're going to get CPI numbers. We're going to get, we're going to get a lot of different, uh, well, the CPI will be the biggest one, I'd say. Um, on the 11th, okay, so let, let's look at this for a second. The CPI is going to be on the 11th. The banks kick it off on the 12th. The PPI is on the 12th. So the PPI, CPI is all about inflation. Wholesale inventories are going to be on the 10th. And then tomorrow we get uh, small business optimism. But So lots of numbers out here. We take a look at these cues. Bottom line is that you get the price spread going. It looks to me like you're going to go right to the highs out here. We take a look at the spy. Now the spy, you know, there's a there's a big drop off on volume. There's no two ways about that. Um, that being said, this wide price spread, you can see, we just took back four days on the way down, like in you know six hours. So this is going to go after the highs again. You know, we'll see how we're going to blow these highs away. And you got to remember that you still have a larger ABC structure up on a longer basis. So um, I, I don't see this 
you know, this actually came back to its strength. It came back with lighter volume. And I'm not quite sure, you know, well, buying today is, is what has sent all of this higher. We go to the note and bond market. What you're going to see in the note and bond market is that you rejected lower price in the 10-year. You did it with lighter volume, and now that this also wants higher price. We go into the gold contract. It did the same thing. Gold, gold equities, silver equities. When I was doing the gold report this morning, it was like, it was like okay, they're all rejecting lower price. So even when I was doing when I when I was doing that, I'm saying to myself, oh look at this man. This means that the S and P also wants to go higher because they they they're trading together, folks. That's that's the reality. What does happen? It seems like, you know, gold might not go down as much percentage wise, but then as soon as the market starts moving higher again, you can expect higher price in the gold and silver market. And what you have out here is that, you know, gold went to 2022. Rejected it. You're at 2033. We've done uh, 194,000 contracts. Well, that baby's coming into a couple hundred thousand. Yeah, 250,000. Okay, so that is a rejection of lower price. Has lighter volume. That means higher price want, is coming at us. We go take a look at the dollar, and this is going to be the kicker here. Back to notes and bonds and the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. Not a lot of movement out there today. You know, you're down 126 ticks. On Friday, what you try to do, you try to go higher, couldn't handle it. Today, it's been a one-way shot on the way down. That being said, you know, it's really a sideways move. But what's wide open here is the first leg down at 99.500. And right now, you're at 102.294. And I expect we're going to get that. And, you know, bottom line is that uh, more than likely what we actually have is that the when these numbers start coming out, let's just see what J, JP Morgan is saying. JPM. <laughs> so JP Morgan is going to be looking to do on the 12th 160 well 40 points two billion and three dollars and fifty nine cents to the bottom line. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials up 137, NASDAQ up 291, S&P's up 55. We're going to be coming back with our man, Steve Rhodes.